Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to add a post. We have seen right so Leela web dev post or something like this. So, if you click on add, so we are able to add successfully the post. Now, in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to update the post. So, how we can update the post and that same data, how we can update it in the state management. Let us try to see. Now here the IDs we are writing it as equal right let us try to make it as unique. So let us go to the post.state.ts and here I will make it as a 2 ok. So first one is completed. Now what I will try to do is so now what we can go we can go to the posts list. So let us go to the posts list dot component html and here we will add one extra column actions we will write it as an actions. And here I can write td and in this one I can write something like update and here I will give class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary. Now let us go and see the output we are able to see the update button here. Now if I click on update what we need to do we need to update this one so it is refreshing right. So now what I will try to do I will write router link okay so it should be in bracket and it should be in such a way that so it should be edit or otherwise what is what is a post right so post edit edit and we need to pass the id so how we can pass the id we can pass the id using post dot id so now we, we we have written the router link. Now let us try to see the output. So if I click on the post slash, so here it is saying that okay, there is no there is no router matching. So already we are in the pair nested route, right? So that is the reason it is showing. So we can write directly here edit slash like this. Now let us try try to define the route. Let us go to the post dot module. Okay, where it is this one? Post dot module here, not this one app routing so we have not defined that one right so here we are having the path post and here in this children i can write path okay edit slash id and the component i will be loading is edit edit post so let's try to create the component here ng gc in the post slash edit post okay let's try to let's try to create the component so now the component will be created and by that by that then what we'll write is component it should be component has been created now what i'll try to do is edit post component so we have given the edit post component also so we have loaded that now let's try to see the output if i click on update here i'm able to see that edit post work now what i need to do here let us go to the edit post component ok. Let us try to design the form here. So, what I can do here dot row dot call md hyphen 12 ok. So, dot row dot call hyphen md hyphen it is showing sometimes it should oh sorry in the ts I am writing right ok ok ok. So, in the html let us go and here I can remove dot row dot call md hyphen 12 ok so let us try to design the form and h3 update post ok i can write the hr here so this is the same as add post right so let us copy this add post code so whatever the form code we are having from here to here let us try to copy this one and let us paste it in the edit post dot html ok so i have copied and pasted now what it is happening so it is saying that post form and all those things it is say, say, saying the error so let's try to on update post okay let's try to implement these things so first post form okay so now what we can do is let's try to remove these all things we will add one by one okay so that we will understand so form control name these all things also let's i will remove okay these all things also i will try to remove we will add one by one so now here i will try to remove this one also this one also and here and this is the update post so this is the basic form 
okay this is the basic form we have designed now let's try to see the output now we got the output update post so now first what i need to do i need to wear whatever the id i have i have clicked here i need to get the get the id and for that id i need to get the details so how can i get the details first let's go to the edit post component.ts and here let's inject the activated route private route of activated route okay now with this route let's try to get the params so this dot route dot param okay sorry it's it's went to router this dot route dot param map okay dot subscribe of params or something whatever you want you can give and here let's try to print the params okay so now if i try to print the params if i go to the console and if i try if i see see here i am able to get the params right so now if i try to get this params dot get off id okay if i want to get the details params dot get off id now if i try to refresh this one now i am getting two if i click here i am getting one if i click here i am getting two so that means i am i am successful i am able to get the id so let's save it in the constant id is equal to params dot get off id so we got the id so whatever the post id so now we what we need to do we need to get the post details so we need to get the post details of that id so how we can get that entire post is located in the post map post state so here the entire post is located in here now what we'll try to do is we'll try to write the selector so how we can write is export constant get post by id is equal to create selector okay so get post state comma state now here i need to say i need to return only single post right so first right right now i'm sending posts of zero so i need to send id uh, particular post of that id so how can i send the id for to here so let's go to the edit post component so we need to send this id to the create selector so that that selector will return you the particular post so how i can send is so here i can go and i can write this dot let's inject the store private sorry private store is equal to store of app state right app state and i i need to import this store also so i need i have imported the store also now what i will try to do is so now what we can do is now we will need to call the props here store here sorry so this dot store okay this dot store this dot store dot select we need to send this we need to call the select of get post by id and we need to send the props here you can send directly the id here okay now id dot subscribe we can subscribe this one of data okay so here what i can do i can create one post of type post okay it, it is of type post right so now what i can do this dot post is equal to data okay so i can do it like this now what i will try to do is so let's go to the post dot selector dot ts and here we, we we are sending the id right so that one will be caught in the props so this in this props what i can do is props dot id okay so i can send directly props dot id if you want to write the condition if props if state of props dot id is present then send it or otherwise null like this also we can say we can write it so or otherwise null like this also we can send it now let's go to the edit post and we got the this dot post let's try to see the post so console dot log this dot post so if i try to see the this dot post and if you see here the output and if i if i click edit post i am able to get the data if i click here i am i am getting it as null why i am getting it as null so if i click on 1 i am i am getting that 2 why i am getting 2 so let's try to see it here so id we are sending and this dot post we are sending and here post dot selector dot ts and we are saving and here we are getting the props 
props dot id and we are returning it okay so now let's try to console dot log props here okay let's try to see the props what is the props we are getting and if i refresh this one yeah we are getting id is one okay so id as one we are getting so states dot posts of oh sorry so what is the thing we are doing here here we are doing is as wrong so we are sending with the id so now what we need to do is here return state dot props sorry state dot post dot find we need to find it's an object right so dot find of post okay so you can send post dot id is equal to is equal to props dot id okay we can use the find and we can send it like this okay so now here we can send it like this here you can write post if the post is find means if constant post okay so you can return the post like this you can return directly directly we can return it not a problem okay now if i try to see the output here so edit slash one is there right we are getting about the one details now if i click on two i am getting the two details if i click on one so now right now i am getting about the details id is present in this object right so i am sending with the index i am trying with the index that is wrong so now we got the data so edit post dot component dot yes we got the data and i can remove out this one so now we need to create a form okay now how we can create a form so using the post form so post form post form of type form group we can write of type form group okay this should be imported at the top and here what i will try to do is this dot create form okay so now what i will do is here i will create create form i will create a create form and here this dot post form is equal to new form group okay so now here we need to unsubscribe post subscription okay of type subscription you can take this one and here this dot this dot post subscription is equal to like this you can take and you can call on destroy and here you can call ng on destroy so if this dot post subscription then do the this dot post subscription dot unsubscribe okay so this is the code we can write now here form group and here i can take the title new form control okay new form control of now i need to highlight the this dot post dot title and i can write directly validators dot required and the validators dot min length so these are already we have used it in the add post so same things i am using it in the update post also now here in the same scenario description oh sorry description new form control of this dot post dot description and the same thing validators dot required and the validators sorry validators dot min length min length min length of 10 okay so these are the form now what i will try to do is i will try to take this form and i will try to add it in the html here i can write form form group okay form group is equal to post form okay this is the form control name form control name is equal to title and the form control name form control name is equal to sorry description okay i have added this one so let's try to see the output if i click on edit slash post slash 2 i am able to see the second post details here if i click here i am able to see the first and post details okay so we are successfully able we are successfully able to create the form and get the particular post from the state and also we are able to successfully highlight the data in the form itself okay so this is how we will be get we will be sending the props here in this video what we have seen mainly is how to send the cust uh, arguments to the selectors so that we can get a particular type of data based on the arguments so how we have did we have used this object as a props and the selector it will be taking it as a 
props okay so the, the, using these props we can get the particular type of data based on our requirement so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to get the data and we will try to submit the action in the next video we will try to see okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you